Guys, it is Kevin here. It's Sunday, uh, February 1st, and, um, um, you know, obviously I'm in, I'm in Japan, and obviously there's only really one news story right now, and that is the unfortunate death of Kenji Goto, the freelance journalist who was taken hostage <coughs> by the Islamic State terrorists. And, um, you know, it was, uh, to be honest, initially, um, when when the news kind of first broke um, that he he had been taken hostage, him and this other Japanese person, most Japanese people I know, including my wife and you know and non-Japanese people like myself, talked about like you know he's probably a goner just because of the fact that the, the kind of history of what happens to people before him who were captured. Um, and then last week there seemed to be possible a little bit of hope, and we were all really hoping that uh, a deal might be made <coughs> um, between Jordan and Islamic State that would release him. But we found out today that that sadly was not the case. Um, uh, they keep saying in the media here uh, that he was one of the best known freelance journalists and very well respected uh, in Japan. And I I've did a, a little bit of reading about him <clears throat> yesterday and he apparently has done, did a lot of work uh, in Sierra Leone and Africa, like Rwanda. Um, but we exposed a lot of light on child soldiers as well as blood diamonds, did a lot of work on blood diamonds, um, exposing that whole thing in Sierra Leone <clears throat> years back. So. An impressive individual who's living behind a wife and two children uh, and one child he never even met a um, uh, baby who was born in the late fall so it's sad it's very tragic um, <clears throat> yeah uh, what more can I say so coming from Japan obviously this is the story um, and um, you know I've been putting links up on my Facebook page the Busan Kevin Just Japan podcast Facebook page about it um, so for any kind of latest news about it um, you know you can always uh, check out the Facebook page and all that but I mean you don't even have to do that it's all over the place but sad sad just sad stuff very sad sad day indeed so um, that is how we start off the month here in Japan um, yeah so I heard on maybe BBC News or something today that there's gonna be like a big rally vigil thing held to today in Tokyo for him so I'll be curious to see that tonight on the uh, NHK news so take care guys, Kevin here in Japan on the Busan Kevin channel. Later.